Hello and welcome to Necrobouncer. This game has just released out onto Steam and if you would like to check it out there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored and this game is a roguelike where you play as a necromancer that is also a bouncer at a club of sorts and you're gonna have to sort out some unsavory individuals as you do it. As you can see there is a bit of a story as well. You wake up a bit shaky. Where am I? What happened? And this is what's going on. This place looks strangely familiar, like I've been here before. Hmm, an elevator? Maybe I should check upstairs. Click, 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 click. Why can't I remember anything? My head feels like it's going to explode. Well, hopefully not literally. I mean, you never know with this game, you know, you can, you can very easily die, very, 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 very quickly, very, very fast. Hello and welcome to the club. We are closed right now, but you are more than welcome to come back in half an hour. Wait a minute. You look like you're tough. I am actually looking for a bouncer. The last one, let's just say, couldn't continue working or walking. It's a great gig, though. You just have to go around the club and get rid of unwanted guests. You up for it? Great. Just go down to the locker room and get ready for your first day. I'll be here if you need me. Well, indeed. Yes, so that is exactly what happens. And now we're going to get to start. You can play with a gamepad if you want. I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse, and you do have the ability to destroy a lot of objects in this game as well. And some of the time that's actually going to be really, really useful for you. As you can see, space is going to provide you with invulnerability frames. And you're going to need to use them very adequately to be able to get through certain obstacles, get through uh, certain gauntlets that you're going to have to run. And bear in mind, this is a rogue light. All right, here we go. We also have a spell that I can use. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm just going to use my spell. As you can see, it uses mana or energy down in the bottom left of the screen and you can actually use that to do a wide variety of different spells you know there are um, uh, summon zombie spells there's the thing that i just showed you right there which is kind of like a big shockwave kind of thing and as you can see there are also performance stars so the more that you actually complete here the more as far as I'm aware, abilities that you might be able to upgrade. I'm not entirely sure about that just yet. I had actually progressed quite significantly on the preview version or the uh, the build that I was playing on before because I played a huge amount of it, actually. Uh, maybe not a huge amount, but I, I did play a lot of it and I unlocked quite a few different things. But uh, yeah, anyway, you can see here that there's a bunch of different costumes that I'm going to be able to unlock as well. And they're all going to have different things associated with them, different abilities, maybe some different statistics, not entirely sure, but we're going to see. Anyway, spawning zombies that bite and explode on enemies. There we go. That's what we're going to be selecting. Business casual it is. And so, as you can quite clearly see, due to the legend in the top left, we're going to have a wide variety of different rooms that we're going to go through here. So, bounce, crystal, and statue. Each of these has a different, mm, shall we say, objective to complete. Bounce basically just means eliminate the enemies in the room. That's pretty much it. Crystal means uh, after a certain period of time, enemies will spawn from the crystal and uh, they, you, know, you need to basically destroy the crystals before that happens or you're going to have to fight enemies and you're going to have to continue destroying the crystals, of course. Statue is basically killing enemies near to the statue, but also while, um, as far as I'm aware, there is a slight, slight puzzle element to things. So sometimes what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to move certain statues into certain positions to be able to unlock the next uh, area. And uh, again, there's like a countdown, and you're going to have to be careful about enemies coming in and trying to murder you. Anyway... Let's move on and see what we can do. So here we go, bounce. Just kill all of them. There's, they're going to give us a, a slight um, slight rundown of what's going on here. Try using an ability. Yeah, so they're just going to give me kind of like a tutorial right now. And I'm just going to be very, very careful right here first because I really do not want to take any damage from these enemies. This would be very, very bad initially. But there you go. 
very nice and easy. Bear in mind, every single enemy that you kill does provide you with some experience as well. And the more experience you gain in the actual run itself, the more upgrades and artifacts and various other things you're going to get. So it's a very good idea to try and kill as many enemies as possible. So sometimes, which is what I sometimes did, I'm not sure if it actually helped me that much, but what I sometimes did is I would literally just go to a crystal level and just allow the crystals just to spawn as much as possible because that actually does provide you with experience sometimes, which is pretty good actually not bad so sometimes that is a bit of a strategy that you can use oh look at that I actually got some temporary health as well that's going to really help me out quite a bit I'm going to try and make the most of this first run because as I say it does get quite difficult later on down the line oh look at this we have a mystery room ah here we go it's a crystal so yeah you can see here destroy enemy respawn crystals when the timer reaches zero all crystals spawn enemies so the best thing that I can do right now is try to move over to this area. I'm going to try and kill this guy actually because he's actually going to drop some coins. And that's going to be really, really useful for us to, you know, potentially buy upgrades. And now they're going to spawn enemies, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't really do much about that. I'm going to just try and avoid this. What's really great is that they do have telegraph arrows on the floor uh, in front of enemies that are actually going to show you where... Uh, attacks are going to come from which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic I think in my preview build I either couldn't see them well enough and they've added an, an, an opacity slider to that or uh, they weren't there before so that's a really really nice improvement uh, obviously I, I, I'm not sure whether they were there before I think they probably were but I just didn't see it anyway there is a reward here and this is also a hard room not entirely sure whether I should do this but I'm full HP kind of want to show you what the statue room is all about too. kill enemies to charge the statue when charged it will kill all of the remaining enemies so we're going to get a huge amount of enemies coming in here I'm going to use my zombie spawner ability and we're just going to try and not get killed basically that's going to be the best thing that i can try to do let me see if i get murdered here oh wow yeah it took some damage right there but that's okay you know that's bound to happen Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm actually back up to full energy, so I'm actually going to use my zombies again. Just going to keep jumping around here. Just going to keep wasting their uh, their uh, their, ja their javelins, I wanted to say. No, going to keep wasting their pitchforks, because apparently they're using pitchforks to murder us. That's not very nice of them. But yeah, anyway, we're just going to continue charging this up, and hopefully I can kill this guy. There we go, very nice. And there it is. That's the end of the uh, of the particular level. But you can see how crazy things can get. And obviously, when you summon your zombies, you're going to have a bit of a, a hard time actually continuing to move. Anyway, I'm full HP. I'm full XP. And so we're actually going to be getting a room now that will allow me to choose an upgrade of some kind. So you can see here, one is your zombies explode instantly on contact. Or spawn zombies whenever you get hit all right i think i'm probably going to take suspicious meat that sounds like a pretty good idea let's do that one instead and then we oh we have something else here as well oh very nice ranged attacks have a 20 percent actually 50 percent chance to return ranged attacks have a 25 percent chance to not use up any energy and fully heal well unfortunately that's not actually going to help me that much i'm going to go for the 25 percent because I think a 25% chance for them not to use any energy kind of sounds pretty good to me. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, this is going to be another one of these. But this is going to be a lot easier this time around. Just going to spawn some zombies right right quick. And hopefully they're going to do some good damage. There we go. I just want to kill these guys. I actually find that the guys with pitchforks are probably the hardest enemy. I know that seems really weird considering they're actually really easy to kill. Uh, but for me personally, I find their attacks some of the hardest to avoid so i think that's probably the reason um but yeah they're actually uh, kind of hard for me because they seem to have a very low wind up and uh yeah they're, they're gonna do a lot of damage but thankfully there we go we were actually able to oh my okay yeah we got a bunch of zombies on me now unfortunately some of the some of the time this can actually happen and you're gonna have to be a bit careful about it but thankfully we were able to fight them off and now we can move on 
And uh, yeah, there are also various spike traps and things like that on the floor as well. So if you do step on one of those, well, be prepared for a nasty surprise. Anyway, increase the size of zombie explosions by 100%. Yeah, that sounds like a really fantastic idea. Or zombies explode even if they are killed. That might be a good idea too. I think I'm, I'm going to probably go for that. Dead man switch. I think that sounds like a better idea. All right, so let's see. Where do I want to go? Okay, I probably want to go to the reward. Going for the rewards, probably much better than anything else. So we're going to do that. And this is just a regular bounce level as well. So I'm just going to continue using my zombies here. We have to kill 11 enemies. That shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Let's just drive. Ah, there we go. Just dive through that. There we go. And uh, uh, really, that's it? Surely not. No, no, no. They're going to spawn another wave in just a second. But I'm going to spawn some more zombies. I'm going to go after the pitchfork throwing guys. As you can see, I take damage literally just because. It's really, really harsh, actually, for me to deal with those pitchfork throwers. Not sure what it is, but I always seem to get absolutely murdered by them. And they're the ones that will actually take away more of my HP than pretty much anyone else. It's actually kind of shocking how effective they are against me. But, you know... Just got to kind of learn. I got to kind of learn how, how to deal with those. Anyway, bag of gold. Losing health refreshes your cooldowns. I don't really care about that. I'm going to get 60 gold right now. Let's just, get, let's just get 60 gold. Just in case. Just in case something happens. Anyway, there is an unknown room right there. I actually don't want to do the unknown room because that's going to force me into a hard room. And that's a crystal there. So I would prefer not to do that. So I'm just going to go for a statue room instead. Because I have taken a bit of damage so far and I'd kind of like to, I would actually like to win. <laughs> I'd actually like to win or try to get as far as possible in the run. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Anyway, we're back up to full. I'm just going to do this. Oh, I, yeah. I cast, I cast my zombies at the wrong time as you can see right there and I actually took damage as a result. Kind of want to... Ah, I kind of want to get a heal now or something like that, but oh well, never mind. Oh yeah, and that's also something that I should have done. I should have definitely avoided that. Oh well, never mind. My uh, my zombies are absolutely murdering, but yeah, I'm just not getting a huge amount of HP right now, which is really sad, but I can't do much about that. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to go on to the bounce level here. This is going to give me some gold at the end of it. I'm just going to summon some zombies real quick at the beginning and try and avoid every attack that we can. There we go. I'm going to summon some more zombies because we are getting more energy back. Nice, nice. Yeah, look at that. That was super effective right there. That was really, really well done. And we are actually doing not too badly, surprisingly enough. Okay, that pitchfork guy has got to die. There we go. I'm rhyming. That's wonderful. You know when I'm rhyming, you know things are going to get dicey. Oh, yes. Anyway, there we go. And we have now leveled up once again, which is perfect. Okay, there we go. What can I do for you today? Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so that that icon is actually the merchant. Okay, good. Seems like I never ran into the merchant before, which is really weird. Anyway, gain one normal HP. I think I'm probably going to get that. Is there anything else that I really want to go for here? What's this? Necro Cat Pal Pet follows you around, occasionally finding things some uh, finding some things for you. That's actually pretty cool. Whenever a ranged attack kills an enemy, there is a 35% chance to gain one energy. That could be kind of useful too. Mm. I'm going to go for the healing, of course. Um, yeah, we're going to go for two of these. I'm going to get the Necro Cat. I think that sounds like a good idea. Can't get the Megaphone, but that doesn't really matter. Gain full energy also doesn't really matter. And the other thing doesn't matter that much either. So let's continue onward. And we're actually going to be uh, hopefully getting... Oh, uh, did I not level up? Oh, apparently I didn't level up. Okay, we've got the boss. All right, here we go. Bosses can be hit only when they have a red outline. Okay, good to know. And this is the Scarecrow. Okay, I shouldn't have too many difficulties with this because I, I should be able to summon my zombies relatively easily. So red outline, he's invincible right now. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that. So we're just going to have to avoid him as much as we can let's just dodge 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 red outline okay no I'm, I'm watching i'm watching for it i'm watching for it okay let's just dive through this dive through that oh wow this this guy this guy okay here we go let's just summon my zombies do some damage here can we actually get them to explode oh wow we didn't okay that's really really bad okay this this could be super harsh actually 
Okay, just going to dodge through them. There we go. And now we can get them all in a nice little cleave attack right there. That's what we want. Okay, so basically, this is his, um, this is his attack pattern. Shouldn't have too many difficulties actually dealing with this. So, as you can see, I can just dodge through that. Everything is very, very fluid in the game, by the way, and very much a case of it's your own fault if you die. You know what I mean? It's your own fault. And uh, I'm just hopeful that... Wow, okay, I didn't do that much damage. I definitely should have spawned my zombies. I should have done that. Oh, well, never mind. Let me just actually get out of here. There we go. Ah, no. Ah, I think I'm going to die, actually. I think I'm going to die. Okay. Uh, let me just dodge that. Okay. Whew. This is the last last opportunity, in my opinion. This is the last opportunity for us. Maybe I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe I won't be able to. He's going to get tired after this one. He just ran me down. Yeah, he just ran me down. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, there you go. But look at this now. Look at what happens. Now we get new relics. So we have info panel props have a 50% chance to shoot vertically in both directions when destroyed. That's That can actually be very good. And also melee attacks have a 5% chance to infect enemies. So those are the two new relics that we just got. And now we're on to day two. There we go. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do too much there, but look at this. We now have performance stars available here as well. I need to spawn more zombies. Definitely need to do that. So let's just continue onward. And these are the performance stars and what you are actually going to be able to spend them on. So, for example, increase max HP and current HP by one. That actually sounds like a pretty decent idea. I think I might actually go for that. Hmm... There are a bunch of other things as well, like 60 gold. I can also upgrade my ability too. So for example, zombies deal 15% more damage, plus one zombie spawned, and so on and so forth. But I think I'm going to be going for max HP, because at the moment, survival seems to be the name of the game. I seem to be having some problems with that. Now the level seems much more complex, as you can see right here, and we can actually decide where we want to start. So I think personally, what I'm going to go for is this path right here so i'm going to go to this one right here which is the reward going to go over here to the next reward over here to the next reward over here to the next reward and then the merchant and hopefully by that time we're going to have a decent amount of cash and then we're going to go into the boss and hopefully because of all the rewards that we've gained i should have a pretty decent time of things but that means first of all we're going to have to go into the statue all right here we go I'm going to summon my zombies relatively fast here, and I'm just going to try and do some damage to these pitchfork guys. There we go. Just going to try and eliminate... Whoa, that was... What? That was super, super fast. Okay, that was actually really nice, uh, surprisingly enough. All right, that's good. And let's go. Let's go straight on down. And now this is a hard room. Bear that in mind. This is a hard room, so we're going to have some uh, pretty big issues with a huge amount of enemies spawning. But that's okay, because I do, I do have my zombies. So hopefully my zombies are going to do a decent enough job. I'm going to have to be a bit careful here. Bear in mind that, of course, enemies are going to be able to be interrupted when they attack. Because you can actually push them a little small amount whenever you attack them. Your attacks do have a small bit of knockback, so you can actually make that work. I'm just going to summon a little bit, just to make sure that we actually get the amount of energy we, we need. Possibly. Yep, there we go. We actually got it wonderful and i didn't even need that hp wow okay that's ah, that is so sad you know whenever that happens i always get really really sad oh yeah i actually left some energy up there as well that would have been nice anyway your zombies explode instantly on contact or spawn zombies whenever you get hit i'm actually going to be going for the same thing again i feel like i'm going to have a little bit more hp this time getting a bit more used to dodging and all that stuff Okay, 60 gold right now, or deal two times damage to non-living things. I'm going to be doing that. Two times damage to non-living things. That sounds pretty good to me. And we're going to, as I said before, go straight through the middle here. I think that sounds like a pretty decent idea. And we're going to have to destroy these crystals. Best thing you can do, actually, look at this. I'm, destroy I'm destroying them so fast because we have that additional, um, that additional benefit. And look at how, look at how fast that was. Look at how fast that was. That was so incredibly quick because we have that additional relic that gives me that two times bonus against non-living things. That really makes a huge difference. But now we've got another reward room, which is perfect because this is a bounce room. Let's use my zombies here. Nice. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Okay. No, don't. Ah, I did get hit. Okay. That was really bad. Oh, well, never mind. This guy actually is going to drop a huge amount of stuff right there, which is really nice too. It's going to drop a huge amount of gold which I'm definitely going to need. 
And here we go. And there's also a heart there. So if I do get hit once again, then obviously I'm going to be fine. I feel like I should definitely be getting more hearts later on down the line, but I just I just don't for some reason. I don't know. I just get really unlucky in that regard. Anyway, let's have a look. Damage nearby enemies every three seconds or 140% more props spawn in rooms. That could be amazing if you have that other relic that spawns uh, projectiles when you just when you destroy them that can be amazing hitting an enemy has a 10% chance to spawn one gold that could be really really good too probably going to take that because maybe at the end the merchant is going to have something amazing for us so anyway this is another hard room so it's going to be a bit problematic possibly but we'll see going to summon my zombies real fast let's take out this pitchfork guy take out that one as well let's not get hit by that just gonna have to be careful there we go let's be more careful Haha, <laughs> look at look at all these guys. Oh no, they're doing so much damage to me. It is terrible. Oh, I really do not like these pitchfork fellows. They do they do so much damage. Okay, there we go. Well, technically they only do one damage, you know. They only do one damage, but still, you know, they always hit me, which is really really frustrating, but there you go. Anyway, I have enough energy, so oh, no, never mind. I was actually going to summon some more zombies, but I don't need to do that. I'm actually doing all right here. Unfortunately, we do have a zombie coming in. We have a bunch of zombies coming in, actually, so I'm going to have to deal with them. Thankfully, they only take one hit and then they die. So pretty easy. Otherwise, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to continue summoning some zombies because there is actually energy to be had here. And to be able to get my performance stars up, I should just basically stand here, summon zombies, uh, pick up more energy, stand here, summon zombies, and rinse and repeat. You know, just do that. And then we're going to have a pretty decent time of things later on down the line when we have more performance stars. And as a result, we're going to be able to unlock more things for that particular run. So hopefully that's going to help us. Anyway, let's move on. I should have been doing that the whole time, by the way. Whenever I saw spare energy, that's what I should have been doing. Anyway, melee attacks have a 5% chance to infect enemies. I think I will probably be taking that. I like that a little bit more than the other thing. So there we go. We actually leveled up. And now we have another reward room as well. Okay, here we go. Let's do a little bit of a summon. Not too bad, not too bad. Unfortunately, I wasn't really paying that much attention to my energy, which is exactly what I should have been paying attention to, because as soon as you have full energy, you really do want to summon your zombies. That's going to make a huge difference to your longevity, because your zombies are going to come in, they're going to act like a bit of a decoy as well, you know, because they're actually going to get attacked by the opponent. And even if they don't have that much HP, which they don't, it is going to be very, very useful for you to do something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to move over here and actually just destroy the props. I'm actually not sure whether I get another performance star by destroying props. I'm, I, I don't know about that. I'm going to have to check that when we get back because, let's face it, I will probably die at some point, but hopefully not that soon. I'm going to take blade mail this time. I think that sounds like a fun idea. I love the fact that it looks like a letter that is made of blades. I think that's hilarious. Anyway, let's go on into this hard room. This is just a regular bounce room, but there's 26 enemies to fight here gonna be hard let's see what we can do there we go nice we, we eliminated all of them i'm just gonna summon some more zombies here just gonna try and eliminate all the pitch work pitch work pitch fork not pitch work thank you uh but yes we're gonna try and eliminate all of those and we're just gonna get some more energy here i've got to be careful about energy usage as well but that's the thing i'm not sure whether energy is that useful later down the line i think my current build with the zombies is actually really, really good for dealing with trash mobs. And I'm talking about these guys right here, you know, these regular enemies that you're going to have to deal with. But the boss, the scarecrow boss, not so much. I'm not that convinced that zombies are that much better, but it does do a lot of damage. That's the thing. It does do a lot of damage. So maybe it is actually worth it. Anyway, there we go. Another reward for us right here. Fully healed. Don't need that. Oh, 25% more damage to bosses. That sounds like an amazing idea. Or melee attacks have a 50% cha chance? <laughs> what? Ch chance? No, I don't mean chance. Thank you very much. But yes, I do mean 50% chance to poison minions. That's actually really good. 
I think I'm gonna to poison minions. Uh, that's only minions, right? That's not actually bosses. So I'm gonna take the boss, the boss damage thing. I don't think I, I think the text basically alludes to minions not being bosses. You know what I mean? So I think that kind of makes sense. Anyway, we have 131 gold. Gonna go for a statue level here. It doesn't really matter which one I go for right now. And then we're just gonna summon some zombies real fast. Take out the pitchwork guy. Mm -hmm. I said it on purpose this time. And uh, then hopefully we'll be all right to uh, take out this guy as well. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yes. I'm getting a little bit better now. A little bit better at dodging, as you can no doubt tell. Getting a bit better at the whole, uh, the whole attack patterns of the opponent as well. Especially the big guys and the, the pitchfork guys as well. Did I take damage right there? I think I might have taken damage, actually. That would have been... Uh, that, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken damage right there. It would have been nice to have an additional heart. But, oh well, never mind. Anyway, boss time. Let's do this. Well, after the merchant, that is. All right, so let's have a quick look. Props have a 50% chance to drop one gold when destroyed. That can be absolutely amazing if we actually continue and live through the next boss. Whenever you use an ability, spawn two gold. That is actually amazing too. Okay, we're gonna be buying both of these things. Oh yeah, we're, we're, this is actually a really nice run right now. I'm hopeful that we're actually gonna be doing a pretty decent job at the boss, but let's just hope it's the Scarecrow. I hope it's the same one, because if it's the Scarecrow, then at least, yeah, there we go. At least I know exactly how to fight this guy, and that's pretty much all I really needed to know. So he's gonna summon zombies to begin with, and then he'll throw some, some bad things at us. And I just need to kind of stay away. There we go. Just do some damage. Stay away. There we are. That's absolutely perfect. Wonderful. And as long as we can stay away, we should be fine. Oh, he, he actually did something a little bit. Oh, no, he's not doing something different at this time. I actually thought he was doing something different, but no, he's not. Okay, so we just have to jump into that. There we go. He's now absolutely... Uh, out of it so we can just get our zombies to do massive oh that was actually some pretty good damage actually surprisingly enough I might be able to kill him in two rounds if I'm a little bit faster a little bit faster that's all that that's all that's needed I did get hit right there but that's okay it was just a soul heart and uh, we do have some zombies actually spawning as a result of that that's actually one of the funny things technically what you could do is if you wanted to you could actually um, get hit on purpose like I did just now and actually have zombies spawn as a result. Wow, this guy's really going hard. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go for it right here. I actually don't know whether I'm gonna be able to... Nah, I won't be able to finish him off. That's real sad. That is really, really sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, this is gonna be even harder now. Okay, let's try and avoid this. Let's try and get rid of these. There we are, there we are. That, that's, that's actually fantastic. The blade armor really helped me out there a massive amount. Don't know whether you saw that, but the blade armor basically made it so that I literally didn't have to destroy most of those zombies. And uh, yeah, now we're having some huge issues because I'm just getting hit by basically every single thing that this guy is doing. So that's, um, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea to do that, is it? Okay, so he's going to go a little bit exhausted in a second. There we go. And I can probably finish him off by myself. Don't need to summon any zombies. And there you go. Wonderful. We were able to achieve victory there. And all of the gold is mine. Come over here, gold. Thank you. And we do have some soul hearts as well. And what is this? I don't know. Apparently, it is something that we can uh, save, or I, I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to be going down, going downstairs. And now we're in the lounge. All right, so now we get another opportunity to choose where we want to go. Obviously, I'm going to pick the path that provides us with the most rewards, which is probably this one right here. Yes, this is the only one that will give me three rewards instead of only two. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for the statue first. This shouldn't be too bad, but bear in mind, this is a completely new level. So we are going to be having to deal with new opponents, completely different opponents. OK, might be a little bit problematic, but I think we're I think we're actually fine. Seems like we're actually fine. Wow, that was much easier than anticipated, actually. I'm a bit worried now because I actually used energy for this. And uh, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well, never mind. Anyway, you know that every single time we destroy some props, we do have a chance to get some money. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. 
gonna try and destroy props as much as possible and get some more money get some more gold and that's obviously gonna make a huge difference in the end oh that's a lot of damage that is a lot of damage what is actually going on here okay uh yeah that's an archer gonna need to eliminate the archer as best i can what's going on there though the mage or the priestess or something like that it's doing massive damage to us Okay, I have no energy, unfortunately, so I'm going to just have to do this the old-fashioned way, which is really not very good. As you can see, I'm taking massive damage as a result. These guys are literally just littering the entire battlefield with massive amounts of, well, everything. Very problematic, but at least we did get some HP back. Uh, is there any more energy around here somewhere? I don't see any energy, so I guess I'm just going to destroy some of these props just to make sure that I'm not missing out on any gold. And then we're going to go downstairs. And there we go. All right. We get another chest. Okay, let's let's get more. Let's get... Oh, more props. Okay, that could actually be kind of fantastic. Whenever you hit an enemy... Uh, oh, actually, wait a minute. Whenever an enemy is hit for 50% or more of its max HP, you kill them instantly. I actually like the Prime Box a little bit more. So 70% more props. That's definitely going to make uh, maybe a maybe a pretty big difference to our uh, to our money situation. As you can see, look at that. Look at how much money I'm actually getting as a result of that. Yeah, but we we've got to kill these archers. Apparently, ranged ranged enemies are really difficult for me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I'm I'm going to just have to get used to it. You know, it's kind of a case of that. You know, just going to get used to how uh, these new enemies work more than anything. I think that's probably the main the main issue here because these templar guys you know the ones that are actually like you know trying to kill me in melee they don't seem that difficult they don't seem that difficult in comparison to the ranged attackers i'm gonna just summon some zombies here just pick up the energy because i can just gonna have my zombies kill this guy think they can oh apparently they can't okay I, I thought that they would easily be able to actually defeat that fellow but they weren't able to and I'm just going to make sure that my energy is maxed out. Just going to continue summoning zombies whenever I have spare energy available. All right, so more chests. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, yeah. This is probably going to be something I'll take. Yep, yep. Uh, abilities have a 50% chance to poison minions. That sounds like a great idea. All right. Uh, so now it's basically just a straight line, which is obviously a little bit problematic because we do have two hard rooms ahead of us, which is obviously slightly, uh, slightly uncomfortable. But the best thing I can do is literally just try and destroy as many crystals as possible. I really don't want to fight too many people on this level. That would not be too good. Uh, but it's okay because we do have that and that thing that basically makes it so that we kill things much much quicker kill props much quicker that is and I'm pretty happy with that look at that yeah that's that's some that's some amazing damage actually that we're getting out of it okay there we go that zombie the zombies are after that fellow as well I can pick up some more energy this guy's almost dead apparently they don't trigger the traps that's kind of sad I was actually hoping that enemies would also trigger the uh, the spike traps it doesn't seem like they do but maybe they do. I'm actually not sure. I uh, just saw one of them just move over it and it didn't seem to trigger it. But maybe at some point in the future uh, we'll see that they actually do or something. I don't know. Anyway, another crystal room. But this should be easy because that one was just a hard one. So it should be easy enough for us to complete this without getting any spawns whatsoever. There we go. Not too bad. Yep, absolutely wonderful. And now we're just going to have to destroy all the props ourselves. Which is kind of, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But um, technically what I should have done was just actually destroy every single prop as I went instead of targeting the crystals because then all of the gold actually would have gotten picked up by me really, really fast at the completion of the room because that's what it does. It pulls all the gold towards you. At least that's what I've seen. Anyway, let's go straight on into the hard room. <laughs> okay, this is uh, slightly problematic. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Maybe I'm going to be able to do something. I want to take out these this group of crystals. Generally, it's it's a waste of time to actually attack crystals that are by themselves. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but it really does make a huge difference to basically just ignore single crystals because they are, of course, going to be, well, almost pointless, basically, to attack in, in comparison to fighting a group of five, for example. That's so much, so much better because if you have a group of five, you're going to easily be able to uh, kill most of them in the same amount of time. What's actually going on here? Why am I getting bombarded? What, 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 what was going on there? Seems like uh, one of those uh, 
priests must have attacked me or, or something like that. Anyway, Soul Magazine. Every five props you destroy, gain one energy or fully heal. I don't need the fully heal, so I'm probably going to go for... Every five props you destroy, gain one energy. Seems like we're going for a props build at the moment. I'll give them props for that. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Anyway, let's just move on. And uh, stop me before I make any terrible puns. Well, that was a pretty harsh room, wasn't it? I think that was a hard room, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we should be absolutely fine once we go into the merchant. Hopefully, he has more HP for me to buy. Yeah, I'm not holding out much hope for that, unfortunately, but I can only hope that he does. Okay, so this is obviously a uh, crystal ch uh, statue uh, charging one, so we're obviously going to have to be pretty quick with killing things here. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I would love some hearts right now, but unfortunately, I'm not getting any. I am so unlucky right now. That is so sad. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see what the merchant has for me. Hopefully, he has... Oh, just one? Really? Really? Are you serious, sir? Are you serious that you only have one? That is so incredibly sad. Okay. Well, I have 271 gold, which is actually incredible at this point. After getting hit, you deal triple damage for... Ooh, hello. That is amazing. All right, increase... Oh, okay, that is also amazing. Increase basic attack damage by 25%. I can't believe I never got either of these before because literally either of these would have made my, my job so much quicker. It really would have. Anyway, let's just buy everything that we can and uh, that's pretty much all I can do. Yeah, yeah. kind of unfortunate. Uh, well, never mind. Okay, next room. It is a crystal room. Should be able to clear all the crystals in no time at all. Uh, but let's just actually go over here. As I said, going for groups of crystals is so much more effective and efficient. Probably want to make sure that you do that every single time. Can I hit, hit this? Yeah, there we go. Hit the Oh, no, never mind. He actually managed to spawn. Unfortunate. Oh, uh, well, never mind. It's fine. This guy is not that difficult to actually deal with because he seems to do only one ability, which is pretty much just that big ground slam thing. And, uh, oh, oh, there was another crystal over here. I didn't even see that. Okay, well, there you go. All right. Uh, there's also energy here, so I'm going to just destroy this and then take the energy, and then we're going to summon some more zombies. As I say, there is a performance star uh, associated with how many zombies you spawn, so I'm going to try and spawn as many of those as I can, of course. Anyway, there we go. Let's go on in, and let's see what the boss is. I'm so worried about this. Hopefully, it's, it's going to be something that I will be able to avoid relatively... Oh, wait a minute. The shrine? Okay, that's that seems like a weird boss to me. All right, hello. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I am having some problems here. Let's let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, so obviously it's all to do with you know holy relics and things like that. Okay, this is this is problematic. If ever I saw one. Okay. Okay, I I am literally dead almost basically. I am dead. 
in actual fact. Wow, I didn't even understand, okay? I had no idea what was actually even happening at that point. I thought to myself, okay, we are getting attacked by a lot of things, but there you go. Anyway, we get in a massive amount of new stuff because we actually did manage to defeat the first boss. So as you can see right here, we gain a new power gem, new room type, uh, new, another new room type actually, and a new outfit. And look at all of the incredible new relics that we got. Look at this. Spawn three zombies at the start of every room. That is incredible as well. Spawn zombies from nearby enemies as well. That's great. Zombies damage is considered a basic attack. The first three enemies spawn infected each room. Whenever you use more than two energy, chain lightning nearby enemies. All of these things are absolutely incredible. And I can only imagine the amount of builds that you're going to be able to come up with. Oh, wow. Zap damage is considered a basic attack. Uh, look at that. Increases zap range. Zap leaves a trail of electric shocks behind. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Okay, so yeah, that is exactly the uh, the new outfit that I have unlocked. So instead of a zombie build, it is actually a different one that is called Zapping Look, as you can see right here. And this it has the ability to zap around in a ball of lightning. Less max HP, but more max energy. So in other words, it's kind of like a sorcerer, kind of like a mage, wizard kind of archetype, which I'm very much liking. Otherwise, we do have the ability to use three performance stars here, which might actually make sense, might be a good idea to go with the business casual again. But I actually want to check out the zapping look because I think that sounds pretty fun. So let's let's go ahead and do that and see what happens with it. All right, so uh, we're going to have a, a, a pillar, a pillar room. I have no idea what the pillar room is, but I guess we're going to find out shortly, aren't we? Anyway, let's just take a quick look. I want to make sure that I get all the rewards or as many rewards as possible. It seems like I can only get two rewards. Possibly there's actually unknown rooms here. I think I'll go into the unknown rooms because I want to see what they are. What's this? Pillars. Okay, what's this? Hit and move the pillars in their respective slots. Enemies spawn from open slots every time the timer hits zero. Oh, okay, yeah. I am not a big fan of this one. I'm very bad at it, by the way, so do bear that in mind. I'm really bad at this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh yeah, as you can see, very bad at it. Okay, so let, let me just have a look. See, oh, okay, that is the ability. That is the ability that I can now use. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what it actually does. I mean, in terms of damage, um, but hopefully we're gonna find out a little bit more in the next room. There we go. Okay, so bear in mind, I didn't even see whether props are actually a thing that needs to be. Um, needs to be destroyed actually i didn't see whether that was an objective or not so i'm just going to leave that unless i have a relic that actually gives me a bonus to it anyway we're, what we're going to do is we're going to basically go like this so we're going to go here 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 for the two rewards in a row two hard rooms in a row as well might be a bit problematic but i guess we'll find out and then we're just going to go down here go to the merchant and then we'll move on to the boss and see what happens but yes anyway another unknown room more pillars okay more pillars not a big fan once i say uh well okay this is this is real bad yeah as you can see i am not a big fan of this room at all i am actually terrible at it so that's the reason anyway uh let's do it ah okay that um that was not smart okay that was also not smart i'm not entirely sure what this thing is even for to be honest it literally just charges me into the opponent it seems which is very well, problematic in multiple multiple ways, but okay. We also cannot move the pillars until all the enemies are dead, as you might expect. Just in case someone wants to tell me to move the pillars while the enemies are alive. No, I can't do that. Anyway, let's just move here. There we go. Ah, uh, just to, Oh no, they just spawned just as I was about to... Oh no, never mind. Okay, well, thankfully they are not that difficult to defeat. Shouldn't have too many difficulties with these guys. Unfortunately, I have such low HP now, so I'm uh, kind of worried about it, actually. Kind of a bit worried about it, but um, yeah, I guess we can just try and see what happens. But that was a hard room, bear that in mind. Was it? No, no, that was just an unknown room. Oh, oh no. See, now I'm super worried. Okay, increase max HP and current HP by one. I think I probably will be taking that. 
because we kind of need more HP than we do energy right now. And this is the hard room, but thankfully we do have a bit more experience fighting on statue rooms, so it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Okay, let's just be careful about their telegraphed attacks. Just going to use this to get away. There we go. It seems like it's a really good idea to use that to get away, actually. Because uh, it's pretty cheap. Look at that. It's really, really cheap, actually, in terms of mana. So I should be able to do that super easily. And then it's actually doing not bad damage either. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but as you, as you see, I actually am not getting any energy regeneration whatsoever. Oh, there's a heart. That is nice. Almost missed out on that. That would have been an absolute travesty, wouldn't it? That would have been terrible. But anyway, here we go. What do we have? Oh, increase all ability damage by 35% or increase zap range by 200%. Either one. We have to take either one. These are cursed. So we're going to gain a random debuff. I'm going to take ability damage by 35%. That sounds pretty good. Bosses have 20... Are you serious? Oh, tw uh, bosses have 20% more HP. That's going to be harsh. Oh, well, never mind. Ranged attacks have a 25% chance to not use up any energy or whenever you one-shot an enemy, spawn five gold. Yeah, it's going to be highly unlikely I'm going to one-shot anything, to be honest, but um, yeah, I guess I'll just take Quantum Battery. I guess that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's do this. Another hard room. It's a pillar room. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is really bad for me. Okay, uh, here we go. Come on, get over there. Get over there, Mr. Circle. There we go. Oh, no, the triangle. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can tell that I'm not a big fan of this room, can't you? Oh, well, never mind. We actually did massive damage, actually, with this. Look at this damage that I'm doing. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Doing with uh, doing damage with the ability uh, with, with ability damage, the cursed book actually makes a huge difference. Really, really nice. Okay, so let's just move this here. There we go. Uh, where's the square? There's the square. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do this in time, I don't think. Oh, I, I have no idea how to push this further. Actually, I I think I'm just being really, really bad or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how to push it further because there is no charge up attack or anything like that. So it could just be that I'm being really, really bad. Or it could just be that there is no charge of attack and I can't really do that. Oh well, never mind. Okay, at least that is really, really close. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over here. I don't want to get hit by that thing either. And wait a minute, where is that other... Is that here? Oh, wow. Okay, they're in the opposite direction to each other, which is really, really bad. Okay. Well, uh, I got hit by the trap as well. Oh, you are... Ooh. You're grinding my gears right now. You're grinding my gears right now, level. All right, let's do this. Let me see if I can actually... Come on now. Get get down there. Get down there. Come on. Get. Are you serious? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. But now we've got to get this one. And now it's being stopped by the others. Okay, well, at least we only have one enemy group to deal with which is not really that bad. And we also have the ability to farm some experience, actually, surprisingly enough. Might even be a, a strategy that some people might want to use at some point. Okay, let me just... Are you serious? Come on now. Okay, come on. Get get, get, get out of there. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but in the tutorial video of this, right? Like, w w w how they showed us to move the pillars onto the, uh, you know, onto the slots... The, uh, the the character in general was able to move the pillar much further than I'm able to move it. So I'm assuming that I'm doing something wrong, right? I must be doing something wrong. Oh, well, never mind. We did it. And I am actually still alive, amazingly enough. Who would have expected that? Not me. Anyway, increase max energy by 10. I probably want to do that. Or whenever a ranged attack kills an enemy, there's a 35% chance to gain one energy. I think I'll probably go for that because might be useful. And let's continue on with, okay, normal rooms now. Normal rooms, shouldn't have to worry too much about this, but unfortunately, the crystals are gonna take longer to kill now. Gonna have to kill this, because this is obviously gonna give me a good amount of gold. There we go, can I actually use this? There we are, come on, come on, come on, come on. Destroy that, there we go, nice. Okay, yeah, that was actually kind of good, kind of good. Technically, ranged attacks obviously are something that I probably should be using a lot more with this particular character because we do have more energy to spend, but I, I just forget about it. 
that's it. I just forget about it usually. So we'll try and use it a little bit more often. Whenever you use more than two energy, chain lightning nearby enemies and increase zap range. I don't care about zap range so much. So I'm going to chain lightning nearby enemies. That sounds fun. And let's move on to the merchant. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of a sad shopping spree because I only have 90 gold to spend. But oh well, never mind. Wow, that guy really tracked me super hard right there. At least there's a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of um, health on the floor here. Health is really, really important. There we go. We're getting some uh, getting some energy back. Look at that. That's real nice. That is super nice in actual fact. And we're getting a huge amount of kills as well, which is really nice too. The, um, the zap ability is actually a lot more fun than it first lets on. And definitely something that you, you're going to have to get used to. It's not the same thing as a, like a fire and forget kind of zombie summoning thing. So it's definitely something that you're going to have to be a bit more careful with. Anyway, deal 10% attack damage plus 10% basic attack damage for every HP you are missing. Might actually be a good idea for me to go for that. Uh, or increase your attack size. I think I might go for the attack size actually. I think that sounds like a better idea. Props, I don't really care about more props to be honest right now. So I'm just going to go for the soul heart. I can't get, oh, I can get more props. I guess I will go for the more props because I'm actually full HP anyway. So I don't need to take any of those green hearts or anything like that. And then we'll just go on to another crystal room. So wait a minute, I'm actually not entirely sure what my objectives are. Do, is it to use um, is it to use zap a, a huge amount, or is it to use ranged attacks, or what is it? Because I'm actually just going to use zap a, a couple of times here because I do have the ability to regenerate my energy really, really easily because of all this energy on the floor here, and there's actually more over there as well. So I'm actually just going to continue using this just so that I can use my energy, and then we are going to pick up this and then we're obviously going to pick up another one i actually wasted that because the thing went over to it by itself but oh well never mind it's probably because my mouse um, went where my mouse was it probably goes to where my mouse is so yeah that was my my bad anyway just a regular bounce right here shouldn't be too bad there we go oh yeah oh yeah this is this is very cool actually this is a very cool class i like this class a lot i actually feel like it provides you so much more mobility so much more adaptability whenever you're caught in a really bad situation you're inevitably going to be able to get out of it because you just literally press e and boom everything is cool it's got so much higher mobility than the previous class Highly recommended if you like, you know, highly maneuverable characters. It's super, super fun. Really, really fun, actually. And I, as I said to you at the very start of this run, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this guy. You know, I'm not sure about this one. I was um, not, not convinced. I was not convinced, but it has grown on me almost instantly. And I'm actually loving it now. So this is very cool. All right, wait a minute. I'm just going to use one more of these and then I'm going to break the, the crate. There we go, break the crate, there we are, now we're back up to full HP, and let's move on. I don't even need the health, which is such a crime, isn't it? It's such a crime. Anyway, I think it is the Scarecrow, right? Yeah, it is the Scarecrow, okay. So we at least know exactly what to do with this guy, and I should probably be able to deal with all the zombies just by using my ranged attack. This guy does have a little bit more HP, unfortunately, so my ranged attack will deal with most of them, as you can see easily enough oh and then i got hit which is really really bad oh well never mind shouldn't be too bad to avoid him from now i do have my zap ability of course i'm not sure how much zap is actually gonna do okay there we go wow not much yeah that was really bad actually <laughs> shouldn't have done zap in my opinion that was probably a mistake on my part oh well never mind Just got to use more ranged attacks, got to just avoid things, got to be really on the ball about doing that. Ball, get it? Because the Scarecrow is a ball right now? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so let's have a look, see here. Maybe I'm going to be able to do something. He, he generally tends to ramp up quite hard. 
So we're gonna just go like this, and then we're gonna go for a nice little dash to finish it off, you know, finish off the uh, the phase. I'm not sure whether that's actually useful. Probably isn't. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's be a bit careful here. He's gonna go for me straight away, and then we're just gonna use the walls to avoid him. There we go. Oh, oh, careful. Ah, see, now that's exactly how it gets you, you see. It's how it gets you, because he goes into the opposite direction, and then you think, oh, yeah, I'm safe here. No, no, you turn out to be not so safe. So I'm just going to attack this guy like I am right here. I'm just going to attack normally instead of uh, using dash or anything like that. It doesn't seem to do that much damage to him, so that is much more a... Uh, you know, minion killing ability. Oh, well, I think I might actually die against the Scarecrow. I am very much getting hit by basically every single basic attack that he has, which is very bad, isn't it? Yeah, like, for example, that. I tried to walk between them, but that didn't work. It's always a good idea to dodge through that kind of stuff because you just want to make sure, you know. When you're dealing with hearts in a game like this, you really want to make sure that you don't get hit. Okay, yeah, that was, yeah, as I say, doing zap against all those, um, against the, against the Scarecrow, it's not a good idea. It really is not a good idea. Okay, let me just avoid getting hit by this. There we go. Can we actually achieve victory against the Scarecrow? That would be amazing if we could do that. Okay, I'm just going to have to avoid this. Okay, I'm just going to dodge through here. Dodge through here. No, no. Careful, careful, careful. I died. Wow. I thought I had enough invulnerability at the end there to be able to do that, but unfortunately not. But we do get... Uh, whoa, we actually got a huge amount of new relics. Look at that. Okay, yeah, look at that. There is a prop-based build, 100%. As you can see, we got the vertical one before, but you, you can see here, props have a 50% chance to shoot horizontally now, which is actually amazing. Whenever you critical strike enemies, spawns four projectiles around the hit that's actually crazy too also the boxing glove wow look at that third attack in a combo deals two times damage whoa okay yeah oh this is fantastic too floor spikes can't damage you yeah there's a huge amount of extra stuff also bear in mind that when you get a little bit further in the game too there are these gauntlet type areas that are basically kind of like an obstacle course so you have to avoid all of these things that are attacking you at the very end of those you do get the ability to select from a variety of different relics and then you you continue onward and you know start fighting enemies again and um i was actually hopeful that i'd be able to show you one of those but unfortunately i wasn't able to this time around anyway um yeah move 500 units with zap that's one of the things so basically moving as far as you can oh defeat the scarecrow without losing hp What's the other guy's thing? Oh, wow. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so those are really, really harsh in my opinion. Oh, uh, well, never mind. Anyway, that is Necro Bouncer. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.